Actually, this is what we have. Our rear differential was blocked. And today we are gonna remove the rear differential to see what's going on. Probably we are gonna replace it. Or in a better case, we are gonna rebuild it. Today I'm gonna show you what you should do to remove a rear differential. As you can see, our rear axle is in the air. We picked it up and removed the, the rear drive line to be able to drive it to the shop. So he was driving just on the middle axle and the rear axle. It's in the air. Now we're gonna remove the wheels and after we're gonna remove the CV shaft axles. Here will be oil. Now we should remove all these washers after we can ta take off the C shaft axle. This is how I am removing them and this is how it looks like. All the cones washers are out. We have eight of them. The C shaft axle it's free. Take it off. Now we should do the same procedure on another side. We're gonna remove the sieve shaft axle here too. but first we can put some jacks under the rear axle so like this will be more safe the rear differential have two bolts one bolt is right here this is the level and here you can add oil and another bolt is on the bottom you should take it off to drain the oil from the rear differential Now we're gonna remove a bolt from the bottom of the rear differential and drain the drain what? You don't have oil at all. It's water. No way. Here is no oil, just water. What the hell? This is why it was blocked because there was no oil inside. And now we're gonna remove all the bolts around the rear differential is 24 millimeter socket. We're gonna remove all the bolts. We're gonna attach it with a strap from the bottom of from the top of the frame or from with a forklift. We're gonna remove all the bolts, slide it forward and lower it on the ground. This is the front view of the rear differential. The drive axle was removed. 
drive line. And now we should remove all the bolts. Slide it forward and put it on the ground. As you can see, it's all dry inside, no oil, no nothing, just water. The differential is on the ground, and this is what's inside the differential housing. Everything is dry inside. Inside, but probably we're going to get this. 